What's going on, y'all? So Whew, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this, y'all. First of all, how y'all doing? I hope you guys' week has been good. My ass, like I said in another video, I literally forgot that this was premiere season. You know, these next couple of weeks or so. All the fall shows that we watch and that I normally, um, you know, review, child, they coming back. And I forget how hectic my um, Thursdays used to be because I used to do skin, do and how to get away with murder and put up, um, you know, what it is. So I was trying to figure out whether or not I just go ahead and do the what it is early, you know, like I'm doing now. So I won't have to worry about it later or put it on Friday, but I'm gonna just keep it how it is. I'm not going to change much up. Um, but I just hope everybody has had a good, pleasant week. I know it's been a lot of bullshit that's been going on. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know if y'all follow me on my Snapchat. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, it's the same as my Instagram. And I got my Instagram and uh, Facebook and Twitter information in the more info box just in case anybody trying to reach me or whatever. That Those are the best places to reach me. Just in case you're trying to, you know, do some stuff. Because I rarely, I, I forget about this YouTube, um, you know, messaging stuff. Because sometimes I don't get my notifications no more like I used to. I got to figure out how to do that ever since YouTube reformatted and did all a new layout on the shit. It's just a lot. But I was on there talking about, <laughs> because yesterday was a trying traumatic day for me, Okay. Let me tell you something. Y'all be talking about this weather and shit. I cannot stand summer sometimes for the simple fact these insects. They have got to go. And I spoke on this once before. I come home yesterday and I'm like, bitch, I'm sitting in the car. And I'm like, is that a fucking grasshopper inside the door or outside? I got a screen door, then a regular door. Now I'm sitting here like, is it a grasshopper on the outside or the inside? Bitch, I couldn't tell. Either way, I wasn't going to try to get close to it, okay? Because if the shit was on the outside and that bitch pop off and jump on me, you know, it's going to be one. Probably would have fell and broke my other knee. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, it was on the inside of the door. So I'm like, fuck. I got to open up the door so it can fly out so I can't, so it won't go inside my house, bitch. Do you know, I just, it, it just, it was a lie. It was a lie because I opened up the door and I bagged the fuck away and the bitch fell down on the floor and it just would not move. It stayed in front of the fucking door. So I'm sitting, I, I was literally just standing there traumatized like, I don't know what to do because I tried to, you know, tap that shit, but it wouldn't move. I said, so you just going to be a stubborn ass bitch? You going to be a stubborn ass bitch? My mind is just fucked up. All right, some of y'all looking like I know you ain't playing. I know you playing about some goddamn grass, but bitch, it's a big ass bug. Okay, I don't give a shit. I don't do bugs, but eventually that hole popped out into the yard. Fine. Earlier when I went to work, my coworker let me in. Okay, this is before we even opened up the doors to the public, baby. Soon as she opened up that door, I come in. I said, "What the fuck?" I don't know, something just caught my eye, and I said, maybe it was a leaf that just blew in with the uh, thing, but when you see something just coming towards you, you automatically jump, and I did like some hot scotch move, like I was finna do some hot scotch jumping double dutch and shit, okay, girl, a baby mouse came past all up on my feet, I said, oh my goodness, this is how we're gonna start the day off, I don't have time for this shit. My man was just fucked up the whole day, okay? I'm thinking shit crawling on me. I'm shaking off my clothes every every fucking 10 minutes, you know? It was just... It was just a lot. I was just going through it, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Some of y'all sit there like, bitch, girl, grow up. I can't. <laughs> I can't. But I hope y'all day has been better than mine. Today was cool. It was actually nice outside today. It is, it's not as cold... It's not cold, but it's not as hot. You know, it's probably in the low 70s, and it feels so fucking good. I ain't bust out in the sweat all day, you know, nor yesterday. Yesterday was cool, too, so we finally getting down to the summer. It's cooling out. But, you know, before I really get into this um video, let's just start off with um some sad news. Um, R.I.P. to the G. 
Hugh Hefner. You know, Hugh Hefner, the Playboy Empire, you know, some of y'all grandparents, great-grandparents bust their first nuts to them. You know, it's all to the good. He was an old man. You know, he came, he conquered, he fulfilled, he lived his life. He did what he had to do. Um, you know, seemed a bountiful amount of titties and ass and puss and, you know, he lived the life. I'm not even going to hate on him or whatever. He done made some careers and stuff. You know, he was 91 years old. So it's not a sad thing. It's just a natural thing. You know, he was up there in age and he lived. And he lived it well, you know. So, um, RIP to him. So before we actually get in, let me get this other stuff out. I'm going to send my thoughts and prayers out to, um, t -Boss. Because I heard, I actually saw when she was tweeting about it. And this was right around the time, earlier this month, earlier this month. I think it was probably like Sunday or Monday. It was right when, Saturday, Sunday, around that time when Trump started doing his whole tirade on the NFL. We'll get to that right after this. And, um, you know, she started tweeting about how her cousin, who is mentally, you know, he has a mental disorder. And they were trying to say that he robbed a bank, tried to say that he had a gun, but he didn't have a gun in his hand. Um, there was no cameras on the uh, the officers that was there. Um, they shot him over 18 times, okay, in the face, in the back, all over his body for no apparent reason. That's what she's trying to say. And they want justice, you know, um... From what she's saying, it's another senseless murder, okay? Another senseless murder of a black man, okay? Um, I just found it real funny that there were no cameras around on the officers on their vest or whatever. And was it out here, Peoria, bitch? Girl? Mm-mm. Anyway, you know, Illinois is a crooked-ass state anyway. I'm just going to put that out there. Chicago, like, one of the number one's crooked-ass cities, so there you go. But, um... That's a suburban state. But anyway, that's fucked up and that's sad. We have had a few incidents like this happen recently and no one really is talking about it. But um, I guess it's going to get a little bit of attention because it is a celebrity's um, family member. But still, it's fucked up no matter which way you look at it, no matter how you slice or dice it. That man didn't deserve to be, regardless of what he had or what you thought that he had, he didn't deserve to be shot that many times with those that artillery, that was a fucking shooting range that y'all was doing. Target practice or some shit? It was just very much excessive, okay? And um, I really do hope that they get justice. And I can't even... I, it's sad to say that I, I'm not going to hold my breath because we've seen how all this stuff goes. We see how innocent black people get killed in the um line of duty or in the, you know, path of coming across a white police cop or even black police cop or whatever. The police in general, let me just put that out there. And don't nothing happen. Don't nothing happen. You know, and it's very unfortunate. And then, you know, the cops saying one thing and people that was there actually, that actually saw it are saying another thing. It's a bunch of he say, she say stuff. And once again, I just find it very convenient that, or um, ironic that, um, yeah, and convenient that, <clears throat> There was no cameras around. Mm. So, this is going to lead, segue, right into motherfucking Trump. I'm not, I'm, I hope I don't spend too much time on this, but I was just as pissed off as everybody else who was pissed off when this first came about because we people need to learn how to prioritize things their time their energy their focus you know you are the leader of the free world one of the probably aren't we still the number one superpower out here and you are making us look like a fucking joke why do we have the Constitution? Why do we have the Bill of Rights? Why do we have the first, yeah, the Bill of Rights and all that stuff as the first tent, okay? Why do we have all that? Why is this taught in grammar school before you can move on to high school that you need to know the 
constitution. You have to have a test on that. You need to study government. You need to study all of this shit, okay? In social studies, in world studies, in U.S. history, all of that. You have to study that in school. Did Donald fucking Trump not do that? Okay, did he not do that? And did he have some type of learning disability that he cannot grasp? Okay, what this means? I just don't understand the fucking problem and the issue with this whole take a knee um, with Colin Kaepernick, you know, when he first started taking a knee. Come to find out, and I didn't even know this myself, during the national anthems when he was actually playing before he decided to take this actual knee, he never really stood up for the national anthem at any anyway, okay? And so now because he voiced his opinion and said, I'm going to take this knee, I'm going to kneel, I'm going to sit, you know, during the anthem to protest, silently protest, peacefully protest the injustices that has been going on in this country as of late, you know, with people being brutalized by the cops. And at one point, you can't even... It, it's white people, too, that get fucked up by the cops unjustly, too. But, and it's all different races that get the same, you know, can have these same experiences. But for some reason, what we are seeing so much more of is African-American men, especially, but African-American people and minorities, meaning like the brown people, uh, Hispanics, Latinos, and all of that. They are targeted. These minorities, okay? These are the ones that we are seeing being poured over. These are the ones that we are seeing being unjustly brutalized, okay? Uh, uh, no reason to pull them over but besides the fact that you are a darker hue. That's what it is, okay? And that is what he is trying to bring attention to. That is what he is trying to change. Nowhere in that, and listen to me fucking good, because I know it's going to be a bitch that come on here, well, the country is this and you shouldn't. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up forever, okay? Because this man took a knee. This man sat down to protest the injustices that has been going on and to combat police brutality. It had nothing to do with the um, military. We ain't talking shit about the military. We ain't talking about disrespecting the fucking flag. We ain't talking about disrespecting the fucking anthem. We ain't shitting on none of that stuff. He is talking about getting justice for these people who cannot, who basically are voiceless. And he's bringing a voice to it. He's adding on to the protest that's been going on, okay? And he just put it on a national scale to draw attention to it, all right? Nowhere did he say, fuck the anthem, fuck this flag, fuck this country, fuck the military, and none of that shit. He's never said that. But yet, you have white conservatives. You have these, um, I, I hate to say rednecks, and I hate to say, you know, all these other negative words or whatever, but these other people, these Trump followers and all this shit who want to twist the words and twist the meaning. How do you implement, how do you put in, you feel that, bitch, it's like a fucking um, multiple choice question. Fill in the fucking blank. You have these options. And your option that you put your answer is like, bitch, did you not see that A, B, and C? Where is your answer at? Because A, B, nor C is not on here, not the answer that you put. Bitch, where did you get that? You grabbed it out of thin fucking air and you put your own shit up in there. You twisted it to mean your own shit. And that is exactly what's been going on with this take a knee, this, this, this whole situation. Then you got Donald Trump coming up here tweeting, talking about the NFL. You know, first of all, he does this rally. And he's talking about, don't you feel like... Um, when you see these players sitting down or taking a knee, um, doing the anthem or whatever that you, uh, the, the coaches or the owners should be like, get them sons of bitches off the stage, off the field or whatever. So this brings up a whole firestorm of people getting in their feelings and being upset at what he's saying because he kept on tweeting about how this person should be fired. He don't say nobody in um, general their name actually, but he's talking about the players. People automatically assumed that he was talking about Colin um, Kaepernick. But here comes Donald Trump Jr. He ain't even say nobody in general. But, you know, how is he talking about Colin Kaepernick when he ain't even got no job? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's where it started at. Okay? And you talking about all his fellow um, people that 
were standing behind him. Okay, so yeah, you're talking about him regardless, all right? And you saying all this, people should be fired. Oh, because they don't stand up for the national anthem. Oh, you're disrespecting this and you should, uh, the coaches, and there should be a rule for this and rule for that. First of all, it's First Amendment right. We studied this in school. Freedom of speech, freedom to protest, freedom to gather, all this shit, okay? That is it. That is it. You know... When white people, and I hate to say it like this, but when white people want to do something and they want to get away with something or they want to do gather, well, it's my right, it's my right. But then when black people go and do the same thing, it don't work the same way. They want to flip that shit like, bitch, you this and you don't want to do this. And how do, how dare you? You're being disrespectful. No, bitch, I'm doing what I am lawfully allowed to do. Okay, I can do this. If I want to take a goddamn knee, I can take a fucking knee, okay? That does not mean that I am disrespecting a fucking flag. Once again, a flag that has been reproduced, duplicated for so many times, for so many years, all right? You want to talk about disrespecting a fucking flag every day, you bitches that be on here screaming about the flag and, you know, how this is disrespectful and this taking a knee, y'all are the main ones that's disrespecting it, okay? You bringing that flag out there, bitch, when somebody put that goddamn thread on Twitter with the code violations for the flag, I said, bitch, I had no idea. I had to look that shit up to make sure that shit was true. Hell yeah. You're not supposed to put the flag image on, you know, accessories. You're not supposed to put it on clothing. You're not supposed to put it on napkins and stuff that can be thrown away. You're not supposed to wear the image at all. You're not even supposed to bring that shit out on the fucking football field and have it horizontal like that. You're not supposed to do that. But yet, you don't call yourself out for what you're doing with that. You wear the flag on your shirts and your clothes, on your trunks and all that stuff, and that's okay. That's not, you know, you're not disrespecting the flag because everybody else is doing it. But let this black man and these other players want to get down on the floor and um take a knee. Oh, you're being disrespectful. Oh, you don't give a fuck about this country. Oh, you're disrespecting the military and all this shit. Mind you, mind you, you're screaming about something, being very loud and wrong when these players did not even come out until 2009, okay, to do the national anthem. They didn't do that until 2009, and that was when the defense, U.S. defense, military, all that shit, they was paid patriotism, paid them $5.4 million to come out there, okay, to, 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 to have the players come out there, because prior to that, the players used to stay in the goddamn locker room. The players stayed in the locker room doing the fucking anthem. And as I go back and I look, I'm like, yes, that's what was going on. So what was the hoopla then, okay? Now all of a sudden, everybody want to get in their feelings because people are ex exercising their First Amendment, right? Like, I just don't get it. I really fucking don't, okay? And then when all of a sudden people want to come out and take a knee and these players that never really took a knee, they want to take a knee, that's fine. You got Ray Lewis getting his dumb ass on um, two knees and didn't want to say he wasn't taking a knee. He was praying. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You was taking a goddamn knee. Then you got them coming out there locking arms, showing unity that they are here and supporting their um, fellow teammates and uh, whoever else as they take this knee, you know, because they couldn't take the knee themselves. And I honestly felt like you can do what you want to do, but a part of me really did feel like locking arms was somewhat of a pussy move. Y'all all, all could have got down on y'all knees, especially if you was a black um player. That's how I felt a little bit. But, hey, I guess. And you want to know why? Because I knew Trump was going to flip that shit to make it seem like a win for him. And that's exactly what he did. He tweeted out, locking arms is good. Kneeling is bad. I said, bitch, wait a minute, what? And I don't see, and this is where I'm I'm saying, like, how is this disrespectful when you had the um baseball player, he literally got down on one knee and he still was pledging allegiance to this fucking flag. So why can't they coexist? Why can't you see the bigger picture of this? No one wants to step outside and see the other side of things. That is the problem. No one on that side want to see our side of this, okay? See the side of those that chose to lock knees and, you know, take a knee or whatever and 
the reason for. No one wants to hear and listen and comprehend, okay? And it irks me when I see black people, especially those who actually used to play sports, and, 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 and seeing them, you know, going against their fellow teammates or, or their, their um, you know, people that's in their, in their, um, in their field going against them and making it seem as if they're being problematic and they shouldn't do this because this is disrespectful. This is that baby. They are protesting. They are trying to bring awareness so that a change can happen so that your son, your daughter don't get pulled over and get fucked up by a cop for no fucking reason. They're looking out for your generation, the kids that's after us, okay? Because ain't shit finna happen now, all right? We trying to get shit better, but it's gonna be a fucking progress. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a gradual fucking change. Maybe when I, um, their kids get older or whatever, the next generation get older, something happen, and they can attribute this stance to it, okay? Just like with the civil rights movement, all right? Rosa Parks wanna protest in a goddamn bus. She will protest in her right to sit whatever the fuck it is that she wanted to sit at. Okay? She wanted to be treated as equal. That's what the fuck it was. The Montgomery bus ride, uh 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 protest, uh walking on fucking Selma, all that shit was just to protest trying to get treated equally. That's what it was. And people don't want to understand that. People are twisting this to mean something totally different than what you are in certain words that never was there and never was said, okay? And I just don't understand that shit. I really don't understand that shit. People just getting mad to get mad for no fucking reason. And Trump, you up there getting mad at Stephen Cur- Steve Cur- Steph Curry. You getting mad at him because he didn't want to come to the White House? How you going to take an invitation back when the motherfucker said he won't come? You talking about something, it's an honor. No. Yes, it is an honor. But it's also his right to decide whether or not he wants to go or not. He is not mandatory to come. Okay? He is not obligated to come. It is not written down and it is not a fucking law that you have to come to the White House when you win this or win the president. No, you don't. You don't. Okay? So stop that bullshit, y'all. Let's... I'm just hurt. Y'all know I was holding it in, so I had to go off. I had to go off, and I'm just sorry that I'm I'm going on so long. It's just it's just very very much irritating, and 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 you still, especially for, I just if you got kids, and you black in here, you should want the future to be better for your kids and understand where people are coming from. Then you got this bitch ass Charles Barkley talking about what Stephen Curry doing is is problematic and shit like that. You should have just went on ahead to the White House and you know, uh, sat around and talked to him and got your issues out. Hell no. Steve Harvey did that shit. Kanye West did that shit. And what the fuck happened? Not a goddamn thing. Donald Trump don't give a fuck about what nobody else says, not even the people around him. He only cares about what he says, what he say goes. This is not a communist state. This is not a fascist state. This is not a dictatorship, okay? And that is what he is trying to fucking make this country into. If it not go by him, then it's not right. No, that is not how it works, Donald fucking Trump. Go back and read your fucking constitution, okay? You know, you're talking about some, well, if you getting paid millions of dollars to do this and to do that. No, capitalism. That's because we run this country on capitalism. That's why. Don't make it sound as if, well, I'm paying you to get out here to do a job for you to dance for me, for you to run for me, for you to do all this shit. You're sounding very much like a fucking slave master on a fucking plantation. Bitch, if I'm paying you to do this, you're going to jump how high I tell you to jump and you're going to sit when I tell you to sit and when I tell you to fucking stand you stand. Let me just tell y'all this. I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness and I probably said this before. In that religion, we don't say the pledge. We don't pledge. I've never pledged allegiance to the flag. I don't care how you feel. That's just how I was brought up because you don't worship or you don't give allegiance to false idols. That is how people are. And and most of these people are Christians and y'all don't read y'all Bible. That's what it says. Don't give you know, these worshiping false idols and shit like that. How's God feeling? Like y'all giving all this to this goddamn flag. Are you giving the same energy to him? Like, come on. Like, it's just, 
Any fucking way. I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to go off. You know, it's just been pent up. It's been pent up for the past few days. Um, because I just don't understand how, what, what is so hard about it to understand. <laughs> I just don't get it, y'all. And I know y'all gonna have something to say. And we can agree to disagree. I'm not changing my stance on it. It is what it is. I stand by anybody who want to, like, you can't tell somebody how to fucking protest. You can't tell somebody how to fucking feel. You can't tell somebody how to fucking react to whatever is going on. You can't do that. You cannot. Okay. Damn. Worry about getting this fucking healthcare bill that's going to be good for the whole country and not just good for you, bitch, okay? All this shit is a fucking distraction from the fact that Russia coming up in here. They found evidence that Russia then got all these goddamn fake accounts, buying up all these ad space on Facebooks and everything, buying up Black Lives Matter ads to make it seem as if Black Lives Matter is um out here attacking folks and shit like that, bitch, doing an election. They found in a whole bunch of shit. This is all a fucking distraction. That's all it is. And it's a distraction from the fact that this bitch has yet to do anything about Puerto Rico. Every time he has said something about Puerto Rico, he says it as if, oh, it ain't never happened before. Like, it's a, oh, competition or some shit. We going by the numbers. Bitch, fuck that. Over 3 million people are on that island suffering. No food, no water, no nothing. No electricity, People are in the hospital. They can't get the surgery they need. They can't get the food they need. They can't get the minimal help that they need, bitch. God damn. And you up here worrying about the fucking football team and the NBA? Fuck that shit and go help your people. Because if you didn't know, Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory. So therefore, they are considered, you know, part of America. They're not a state. They're a fucking territory, okay? Just like the U.S. Virgin Islands. Are you helping them too? Fuck. Like, it's just pissing me off. Seeing all this footage of, um, you know, Puerto Rico. The, the town, the, the island is devastated. And you are up here going off about this bullshit. 50 million tweets dedicated to the NFL and the standing and all this shit. But only a couple tweets dedicated to the fucking crisis that's going on in Puerto Rico. That's going on in all these other islands that is that is in need. And we see more of the celebrities actually getting up and trying to lend their money, their planes, their service, their time to go over and try to help and get support and stuff out there to these people when our own fucking president ain't barely doing shit. What does that say? But see, this is the bitch that y'all chose to, um, you know, hey, you do you. But um, anyway, moving on from that, bitch, I went the fuck off. I went the fuck off. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, let's 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 bring it down. Let's bring it down. Okay. So, news over the weekend came out saying that Kylie was pregnant by Travis Scott. You know, I don't care. I really don't care. Chloe is pregnant too by Tristan. Okay, I just hope Tristan is actually taking care of the baby that he had, the last baby that he had when he was with um Chloe. From his ex that he broke up with to get with Chloe. I just hope that he's taking care of her. Okay? That's all that I hope. You know, I didn't know Chloe could get pregnant. Hey, you know, shit happens. That's what happens when you fuck without a condom. But, um, hey, congratulations on that. Cla Kylie, I'm not surprised, okay? People talking about, oh, she too young. She 20 years old, bitch. Like, how... how some of y'all parents were teen moms. She's not a fucking teen, okay? And I get, yeah, 20 is kind of young, but um, she's an adult. She has money. She can afford it. Hell, my mama had me when she was 20, but she was married. So, I mean, I guess. So, it is what it is. Why y'all worried? I'm not. You know, um, China and, <laughs> you know... Rob wanted to say, Rob was like, include me, bitch. Include me into the headlines, too. Okay, so basically what was going on, a report came out saying that um, Rob is suing China. Okay, Rob suing Black China because in 2000, last year, y'all remember when he went on that little tirade and was on Snapchat about China took the baby and all that shit? I remember this because... Bitch, I remember the goddamn gingerbread house. He said that China crushed the gingerbread house. 
<laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's funny. He crushed it because, um, you know, domestic abuse is not funny, but they they just irk me, so I just can't take them serious. He said they got two of the course. She tried to beat him with a metal pipe, uh, tried to choke him out with an iPhone cord. I mean, I'm not even surprised, and I'm not even going to put it past her that she probably did this shit. Motherfucker, she just got fed the fuck up that shit wasn't finesse in the right way, you know? Um, <laughs> and leave Sophia Bush alone, like... Sophia Bush, Sophia um, Richie, and Scott Disick. You know, some of y'all out here, y'all judge a lot. And I know we judge Kylie and um, Tiger, but that was because Kylie literally was underage dating Tiger, a grown man. And I get the age difference between um, Scott and Sophia. I wouldn't be here for it like that, but I'm not judging because some of my faves... They, my One of my favorite couple got the same, damn near the same age difference. Okay, listen, Beyonce and Jay-Z, they started fucking around when Beyonce was 18 years old, went on a date when she was 19 years old. That's when they went and uh, made that shit official. Jay-Z is a grown ass. Jay-Z is old enough to be my daddy. Put that out there, okay? So, um... I don't care. I don't care. These celebrities gonna do whatever the fuck it is they want to. I'm not gonna judge because I see the shit all the time like that. You know, um, I don't see underage shit. Okay, that's not get that. But technically speaking, she is an adult. He is an adult. And they probably just playing around. You know, but I understand why people think that it's fucked up. Because exactly, the same thing with the Arkley thing. What does a grown man need to do with a, um... A 19-year-old, like, what? Y'all not even at the same. So, I'm not going to. I wouldn't do it. I look at my sister sideways. But I'd be like, well, I'm going to let you see how that shit play out. But I'm not going to hoop and holler over it, you know. Y'all consenting and shit. At least, at least she legal. That's all I can fucking say. But, you know, <clears throat> moving on from that. um, I got a paper over here that got everything that I need to say. Baby and Scrappy got married? Bitch, I remember when he was posting about how I got to find the Bams. But I remember when Bams was posting about how she just, she never was the one that fucked up that relationship. And given how his actions were, I can see that. And I truly did believe her when she said that. Like, you know, if they really are married, they caught up in ATL over, um, I guess... Labor Day weekend or something like that. I don't know. But if they marry, this is a new storyline to keep him on the show. Um, and to bring her back, you know, to love and hip hop. And um, if they're married, congratulations to them. I can't hate on love. And congratulations to Erica Dixon. She graduated from college or whatever. Uh, got her a little degree, you know. That's cute. I really like that. Go ahead, sister. Um, Tiny and T.I., they didn't get back together. Like we didn't see that shit coming. Okay. We all saw it coming. We not surprised. All right. They do this song and dance all the fucking time. They break up. They get back together. I can't hate. I can't stand your ass. But I love you. So come back over here. Um, The rumor about the baby. I'm pretty sure that was just a fake rumor. I said that last week. But because I know somebody put up a fake page and then posted that T.I. as T.I. and posted that he put that. I said he don't even talk like that and he wouldn't even put reveal his business like that. So, no, but the divorce for right now is a no go. I mean, it's cute. Go ahead and do what you do. If that's what you want to put up with, go ahead and put up with it. Speaking of putting up with some shit, Wendy Williams. <laughs> She came out about her husband, Kevin, and said that he was out here cheating. Okay? Are we surprised? You know, when people say that certain people was cheating on people, I just don't be like, oh, my God, I can't believe that he was cheating. Oh, my God, she was cheating on him. I just don't put it. I don't know. Like, if I'm not shocked by it because it happens so much, and especially if you're in the entertainment world, of course, shit like that's going to happen, all right? Nine out of ten, I'd be surprised if you went through your whole marriage and ain't shit happen. If y'all got into, a, um, you know, some fights and argument, it's over something other than cheating. I will be surprised, like family shit, you know? But um, this isn't the first time he cheated. You know, what is it with these niggas named Kevin, okay? Kevin Hart, this nigga, Kevin Hunter. Like, he cheated and, you know, she forgave him. She stayed in the marriage. Um, 
then come out saying that he has been carrying on a 10-year-long affair with this woman who was a massage therapist. She's 32 years old. I think he 40-something. Um, either way, 10-year affair to the point where uh, he just brought her a new house that's like 700 and sixty five thousand dollars that's nine miles away from um <clears throat> the home that he shared with Wendy and his son. And um, you know, he splits time between both. And he said that he's in love with both of them, you know. We seen the mailbox that had the girl name and his name on there. That was all the proof that I really need. Why you got mail coming to this bitch house too? Okay. You know, they had pictures, they had all this stuff and of course Wendy she wants to get on her show. I seen the clip. I don't watch Wendy Williams, okay, so you know, it is what it is with that. I just don't have the time dedicated to watch the shit. But um she did all that and basically said, You can't believe everything that's going on. My husband's still here and all that shit and we good. And, you know, holding up the fact that she still got her ring and all that stuff. Okay, there's a lot of bitches out here that got rings on and they still getting cheated on. Um, There's a lot of bitches out here that doing going through shit, but they gonna lie. They gonna lie, especially if you're in the public. You really expected her to actually be like, yes, you cheating on me and um... I don't know what to do. No, it's not going to happen. Okay? I seen that clip when Wendy Williams was on the beach with them photos, them pictures that they took. Wendy Williams, you put that shit on your show and you photoshopped the hell out of your legs, bitch. You photoshopped your stomach too. You made it seem like your shit was silky smooth, bitch, instead of wrinkly crinkly. Okay? You fucking tried it. But I probably would have did the same thing. But no what? No the fuck I wouldn't because they already didn't see the original pictures. But whatever. Wendy, you know, Wendy knows. Okay, that's why. Wendy's sitting back and it's probably an arrangement that she has going on. They got going on. Okay, uh, well, so you going to cheat. Well, I guess we can just, you can you can have this bitch. Okay, you can have this bitch on the side and I'm going to do my thing. Can you do your thing? Just make sure you come home to me too. Okay, we can split that thing up. Wendy knows. A woman knows. Okay, she knows. She knows. You ain't fooling me. And speaking of Kevin fucking Hart. So the girl that is being represented by Lisa Bloom. Okay. She is sitting down doing actual ass interviews. Lisa dead ass forgot about Kwani. Okay. She said fuck that bitch. You know. Usher and that shit. We don't give a shit. But. um, And I forgot Lisa is representing Black China too. Lisa is literally her mother's daughter. She is going to snatch these bitches up. <laughs> Bad a hairs, ho. We going to... No, you need representation. I didn't ask for it. I don't care if you didn't ask for it. I'm telling you, you need representation, and I'm going to represent you, okay? Okay, okay. Do what you got to do, bitch. Since you're going to come at me all aggressive, like. But anyway, getting over that, um... Yeah, she sat down and she was giving a little bit of detail. She was like, it wasn't no casual hookup. We hooked up like, uh, fucked around like three times. And that was during the day. And this wasn't no night. We, I didn't drunk, drink, um, um, I did not. He was not drugged. He was not drunk. He was very coherent and all this stuff. Because motherfuckers want to put it out there trying to say that he was right. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up forever, okay? Just, just shut the fuck up. Anyway, I'm just sitting here like, girl, you going to suck up your 15 minutes, okay? I don't understand at this point why you need to go on a, um, look, I mean, I guess you want to clear your name, but ain't nobody asked what your name was in the first place. And regardless, we still going to look at you strange because you still willingly let, uh, slept with a married man. And I don't believe that shit saying that you didn't know who he was. Everybody know who the fuck Kevin Hart is and everybody know that he was married. So stop that bullshit. I don't, I don't get it. Like, what's done is done. He cheated, so the fuck what? Go the fuck away. Because it's not going to break up his home. You're not getting no money out of it. Um, Don't nobody want you in that film, unless it's a smut film. I'm just saying. Um, We don't want to hear you sing, rap, or whatever the fuck it is that you claim that you do. Okay? And that's about it. We don't want nothing else to do with you. Like, girl, go away. <laughs> Kevin ain't leaving his wife. Well, his wife ain't leaving him. He just was saying that. They getting ready for the fucking baby shower. Girl, whatever. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about him. Uh, She coming out, you know, talking about this still. Like, let the shit die. Congratulations to Cardi B. Okay. 
congratulations to Miss Cardi B on getting her number one spot. You know, the first female to get a, a hip hop to get a you know number one on Billboard 200 without a feature solo artist. You know, Cardi B. Let me just say this, Azealia Banks, and I don't give a fuck if you're a fan of her or not. I'm not a fan, and I'm I'm I can. I can dislike somebody, but I can call out their um, goodness and shit. Azealia Banks is not a dumb girl, okay? She speaks a lot of stuff that I would normally agree with if it wouldn't come at a time where she's coming off as hating, okay? She speaks about some of the colorism and the light skin and all this stuff. And I get where she's coming from because I agree with some of that shit too. But especially when she was talking, even when she was talking about the Cardi B situation right now, it's just the fact that you come out as soon as this girl gets number one and because people are celebrating her success and letting her have this moment, you want to come out with your hating ass, okay? And this is why your hating ass ain't never been nowhere, okay? Yes, you could have been at that spot already, okay? People say you talented as fuck. You do sound intelligent sometimes, okay? You could have been at that spot, but you know why you're not? It's because of you. All right. You are a hindrance to your own career. You are a hindrance to your own self. You are self-sabotaging every time. All right. You've got into it with so many more people than we've heard about your music. Okay. That's every time we hear about Azealia Banks. It is not about, oh, bitch, she got a new song out. Oh, bitch, she got this out. She got that. And you're very contradictory. Okay. You are very contradictory too. All right. Um, You did this to yourself. You muddied your own name in the industry and with other people, people that would probably have given you a chance to listen and actually been like, okay, shit, you know, you kind of, you different, but I like you. That's what you did with me. I would never give you a time of day. I would never listen to anything. And if anybody be like, but she sound good, I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear it. 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 Anyway, fuck that bitch. Um... I would never shit on somebody's success like that. Let a motherfucker have their moment. I don't care if I like you or not. Let a motherfucker have their moment. Okay? Moving on from that. I just I just want to touch on something. So, I'm just going to start, you know, um, since Star is on. And I know y'all want me to review it, but I'm going to be quite honest. I'm kind of tired of... And I know I review Empire. And the only reason why I'm reviewing Empire this season is because I just feel like... Um, I got to continue it and it's something that I've been doing. So I just, it's something big and I just not going to stop it because I actually still kind of like empire, even though it's getting ridiculous, probably by next season, I probably won't be reviewing it, but star, I just can't take on another music show. Even though I feel like the music that's on star is so much better than the music that's on empire. Okay. But, um, it's a cute show for what it is, but let me tell you something. If I would have did an actual review review like I do on Empire on Star, it would just be like, this bitch is irritating me, this bitch a hoe, this bitch this, this bitch that. Because I don't like the character Star. I really don't. That bitch fucked Mike Epps just so they can get ahead, and he got fired, and they still fucking nowhere. I said, bitch, was it worth it? Put the thing down, flip it, and reverse it? No, it wasn't. Okay, I, I mean, and the only reason why I really started watching Star was because Amaya Scott was going to be on there. And, and you know, Cotton got out of jail. Dumb bitches in that jail were jealous of Cotton, okay? Just put that acid on her. I said, that's fucked up. May her had to go to Jim Pop. Like, she was like, put me get Jim Pop. Put, they was like, you sure about that? I said, look at the piece of tray that they put her in, that, uh, in that jail cell with. I was like, all right. <laughs> You do it. But when that bitch pushed Miss Lawrence down on the floor and her wig flew back, Bruce, because she was talking about that girl here, I, I, I really I really identified with that little girl who was sitting there getting her hair done. She was crying and she was screaming because her hair hurt. Bitch, I said, God damn, that really was me. All of that hair, let me tell you something, to have thick hair, long hair, and then to be tender-headed at the same time, the struggle. That was me. That was my childhood. And that was me crying. That was me in tears. And it was like, she needs to shut up. She's just nappy-headed. And when she said that nappy-headed shit, that's when mommy got up and pushed her ass. I said, that's what you do. That's what you do, bitch. 
<laughs> she wasn't playing. Okay. Um, what else? Luke James getting up in there. I just don't like the fact that Star uses her puss for everything. And I know that sometimes that that goes on. But damn, how come they couldn't have it so that, you know, I don't know. Like, she's using other ways to get there without going to the common route of selling herself. Selling her puss. Like, that shit gonna be worn out before she even turns 21. Okay? Or 25, I should say. Like, girl, it's just going to be worn the fuck out. And the shit with... Oh, I will say this. The one scene that touched me was when... um, What's her name? Alex. They kept on asking about the miscarriage and why won't you talk about it? You and Derek needs to talk about it. You know he paralyzed and all that stuff from the accident from last season. And she just keeps avoiding the subject. And when he even tried to ask her about it, she, you know, tried to change the subject. And baby come to find out mama had an abortion. She ain't had no miscarriage. She had an abortion. I was sitting here like, oh, my God. Pola Simone. Simone is up in there, girls. That big bitch came up in there looking like she was hungry. I said, you better not touch that girl. I said, Simone, shut the fuck up and just give them the sneaks, okay? Don't even fucking try it. One bitch got a bandana on and one bitch is a big bitch with some cornrows. You ain't got a chance, okay? Just give it to her, okay? And she looked dirty, too. She looked like she was hungry. Stop it, okay? Um, What else went on that actually stood out to me? Luke James. I did like the way that, um, I'm not gonna lie. The way that, um, Star came up there and she was trying to finesse, uh, new Luke James to get on that record and then called him out about, bitch, you ain't had a hit. She just read his ass. I said, you know, sometimes you gotta humble motherfuckers. All right? You ain't shit, bitch. You ain't had a hit in years, bitch. Who the fuck is you? That was cute. That was cute. I will say that. And the way she did that shit with Arlene on that red carpet, because Arlene kept on thinking that, um, tried to make it seem like Star was the one that killed her son. Oh, no, bitch. She wasn't. We already know that she won. Um, J Jahil did. Okay? But then, Jahil got killed, too, at the same time. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck happened? It was like the triple murder. I thought it was just a double murder. No, bitch, it was a triple murder. And that was good what Star did. Star took pictures of the injuries that that boy did to her. That is what y'all do so y'all can have fucking proof, okay? Tell people what's going on so when shit goes down, they can be like... Well, I didn't, they can't be like, well, I ain't know, because ain't nobody never said nothing. No, they can be like, yup, she did tell me this happened. She did, I told her she needs to get away and all this stuff. You need to document this shit. So that was good. That was good. She got Arlene on that ass. Keep on fucking with me. I'm going to put them pictures out. And trust and believe, I wish I would have killed your son. But I didn't. I said, oh, that was cute. That was cute. I ain't going to lie. That was cute. Um, I just don't like the fact that Star acts so much like what she perceives a black urban girl to be. And she just does too much. She's over exudes for me. Okay? And that's probably what turns me off about it in her character. That's what the fuck it is, bitch. All right? Um and that cliff that that reveal at the end, bitch, that reveal at the end. Ooh, I said Carlotta was the killer. Carlotta shot Jaya. Why? Bitch, this better be a um fake shit or something like <laughs> you thought type of moment. But y'all, we can discuss it in the uh, in the comments if you want. Uh, how did you feel about the uh season premiere? I did like it, but it's it's not enough for me to just do a regular review. Like I said, I'll talk about it and what it is, and I'll probably try to do it at the beginning so we can really get into it. You know, I just really had to get that Trump shit out the way. So you know, that's how we can. If y'all cool with that. Put it down in the comments, and that's how we'll do it. We'll work it out like that. One more thing before we get out of here. This is us. If you guys are not watching This Is Us, you need to. And I'm going to tell you, if you haven't started watching the first season because the season premiere came on this past Tuesday, um, I'm just going to tell you this. I'm not going to give anything away because I don't know where everybody's at in the show. But um, you're going to need a blanket. You're probably going to need your teddy, okay? And you're just going to need to be huddled up in a corner. And you're going to need a box of tissues, okay? That's what you're going to do. Get you some tissues. Just sit there. Get you your drink. Get you your um, blanket. And just be prepared to just hold that teddy bear real tight and be like... Because that's how you're going to be throughout the whole season. 
and that. This fucking, it's an emotional roller coaster. Oh my God. This season premiere at the end, the last five minutes had me, I said, I did not watch it when it came on because some other stuff that was, um, If Loving You Was Wrong came on at the same time. Y'all know I reviewed that show. So I watched it the next day at work. Why did I do that shit? Y'all did not tell me it was going to do start off this deep. I, I, I avoided the tweets, okay? You know, I was dodging them bitches like that. And, um, I just remember being at work. I'm looking at the five minutes, the last five minutes too. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm like, bitch, let me go to the bathroom and get myself to fuck together, bitch. I don't even fucking cry. That shit broke me down. I'm in there like, bitch, get your shit together. This ain't me. I know this is us, but this ain't me. Okay? This is us. You got to stop doing that. But, you guys, we're going to work this shit out. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, enjoy the rest of this good weather while you can. Can't wait for hoodie weather to come. It's on the way. It's fast approaching, bitch. All right. Um, you guys, how to get away with murder comes on tonight. Okay. And I will be reviewing it, of course. So look out for that video. Scandal comes back next week. Um, if you watch Grey's Anatomy, it's a two hour, uh, premiere this week too. Well, tonight too. I will be watching that. I wa I love Grey's Anatomy. I just don't review it. It's just a lot. Um, they really need to bring Christina Yang back on. Before this show ends, like ends completely the series, Christina Yang needs to come back and make an appearance. I need to see Christina and Meredith back together. I would at least thought that she would have came back when Derek died, but no. It's just a lie. Shonda, you just be fucking with people. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Be easy. Be breezy. Be beautiful. Cover girls. Fenty Beauty, I should say. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. <laughs> anyway, let me get the fuck off of here. I'll see y'all later. One more thing because it just came to my mind. I'm sorry. Um, How do y'all feel about Justin Timberlake doing the Super Bowl? I don't know if they really actually confirmed it, but I know he was in a run it and he was in the talks and I've seen a whole bunch of tweets about it on my timeline. And I honestly feel as though do the Super Bowl once you give um, Janet Jackson a public apology. And the only reason why I say that, you know, some people are like, oh, that's old and shit. Janet got the brunt of all that bullshit because I truly, truly do feel like that was a malfunction. And after looking at some of the interviews, you know, after that she did years later, she still holds on to it in a way that she broke it down and how she felt and how she basically was forced to give that um, public size apology. Yeah, um, it was an accident. And no one blamed or, you know, put anything on Justin like that when he was the one that actually pulled the material, okay? So, y'all tell me how y'all feel about that one. You know, are you here for Justin in the Super Bowl or not?